The Supreme Court's ruling in the RECO DQ case of 2022 was a complex due with far-reaching implications. Here's a breakdown of some crucial additional details addressing past concerns. The Supreme Court acknowledged the previous controversy surrounding the RECO DQ project, particularly the issues raised in the 2013 Abdul Hake versus Federation of Pakistan case. The court ensured that the new agreements addressed those concerns, emphasizing transparency, due process, and fair distribution of benefits. Role of international arbitration. The court also considered the backdrop of international arbitration proceedings initiated by Tethian Copper Company, TCC, against Pakistan following the termination of the original reco Dik agreement. The court observed that the new agreements provided a mutually beneficial solution, avoiding potential liabilities arising from the arbitration award, scrutinizing legislative amendments. The court reviewed the legislative amendments introduced to facilitate the reco DQ project, including changes to the Foreign Investment Protection and Promotion Bill 2022. The court found these amendments to be within the legislative competence of the parliament and not in violation of the constitution, emphasizing environmental safeguards. The court expressed satisfaction with the environmental protection measures incorporated in the new agreements. It highlighted the commitments made by Barrick Gold Corporation, the project's operator, to implement international best practices for environmental management and sustainable development, ensuring local benefits. The court emphasized the importance of maximizing benefits for the local communities and the province of Balochistan. It noted the provisions in the agreements for local employment, skill development programs, and corporate social responsibility initiatives. Affirming parliamentary role, the court underscored the role of parliament in overseeing the implementation of the RICO DIQ project. It emphasized that the parliament has the authority to enact legislation and monitor compliance with the agreements, ensuring transparency and accountability. In essence, the Supreme Court's detailed ruling in the RECO DQ case provided a comprehensive legal framework for the revival of the project. It addressed past concerns, upheld the new agreements, and emphasized the need for balanced development that benefits both the investors and the local communities. The decision marked a significant milestone in, in Pakistan's efforts to attract foreign investment and harness its natural resources for economic development.